Recently while working on a project I encountered a problem that I couldn't seem to solve Suddenly I realized that the answer might be in a book I had read a few months back I grabbed the book eagerly flipping through its pages scanning every chapter but I couldn't find what I was looking for it was like trying to find a drop of water in the ocean that's when it hit me if we have google to search the web why don't we have something similar for searching through books the idea is simple if i ask a question to the ai it should scan the entire book and generate the answer to my question and to make this more reliable it should also include page numbers from where it is referring to the information we will be using gpt3 to generate answers but one of the biggest challenges standing in our way is you just cannot give an entire book to the gpt3 because the maximum number of tokens gpt3 can accept is 4000 which is roughly 3000 words and a typical 100 page book has 30000 words which is 10 times more than the gpt3 is limit however there is a solution whenever we have a large corpus of text like a book that a language model can't handle all at once we break it down into smaller chunks i think it will be easier if i just show you this is an open source book named dive into deep learning that consists of 982 pages it contains a lot of information about deep learning so we can ask it a wide range of questions so we will use this book as an example after writing some code to load the book extract all its text and break it down into smaller chunks you can see that the book has approximately 363000 words after dividing it into 100 word chunks we ended up with approximately 3600 chunks if i print out five random chunks this is what they look like you will notice that they have a strange numbering in front of them this number indicates the page number from where the chunk is taken This is important because we want the GPT-3 to be able to reference the page number. The next step is to search for chunks that match with the user's question. For example, if I ask how many layers does the world base have, so we need to find chunks that may contain the answer to our question. This process is similar to how search engines like Google works. When you type a query into Google, it searches through all web pages to find pages that match your query. Similarly, we are searching through the chunks of book dive into deep learning to find chunks that may contain the answer to our question. And to make this search possible, we will use Universal Sentence Encoder. It's a deep learning model that can take any text and output a high dimensional dense vector, also known as an embedding. This isn't just a random vector of numbers. It actually captures all the semantic meaning from the text, which becomes evident when you look at the embedding space. I fed these 9 sentences into the universal sentence encoder and you can see that it generated a 512 dimensional embedding vector for each sentence. Since it's not possible to visualize a 512 dimensional vector, I used PCA to reduce it to two dimensions. This is what the resulting embedding space looks like. There are three distinct clusters that I formed. the sports music and the anime cluster just take a look at how the universal sentence encoder groups together text with similar context in the embedding space and we can use this to our advantage for example if i enter a question like what is naruto and generate an embedding for it you can see how it's so close to the sentence that mentions naruto similarly we will give all the chunks to the universal sentence encoder which will generate embeddings for each of them so when we want to search for an answer we will get the embeddings for the user's question and then by using a simple key nearest neighbor we will find the top n chunks which are most similar to the user's question that may have the answer we are almost done now so let's put everything together we started with a book or it can be any pdf and load ordered its text since large language models like gpt3 can't handle this amount of text at once we broke it down into smaller chunks then using universal sentence encoder we generated embeddings for each chunk now when a user asks a question we use knn to find the top 5 chunks that are most similar to the user's question so i have implemented everything we have discussed up till now in this jupyter notebook so the most important class is this semantic search class this is doing the work of generating the embeddings for our chunks by using universal sentence encoder and if you want to know more about this code i highly recommend you to watch my movie recommendation system video in this i have explained this code in a very great detail so let's use this semantic search class The first step is to create the object of it. So I have stored the object in the recommender variable, and then uh, I just need to call the dot fit function and pass in all my chunks. So this will generate the embeddings for each of my chunks. So this will take some times because we have approximately thirty six hundred chunks. It's done. So now we just need to call the recommender function, and we can pass in any question like how many layers does the 
bird base have and uh, it has recommended us the top five most similar chunks that match with our question so if you take a closer look uh, the base model bird base uses 12 layers so this is the answer to our question so by using the search we have just trimmed down this entire book to just these five chunks which is a huge achievement but there is still some room for improvement because there is a possibility that some of these chunks might not even relate to our question and all i need is just a straightforward answer to my question this leads us to our last step generating answers using gpt3 we first need to create a prompt so that gpt3 can give us answer tailored to our needs i got the inspiration for this prompt when using web chat gpt which allows chat gpt to browse the internet if you ask a question web chat gpt will insert five web search results before our query and they provide instructions for chat gpt to use these results to answer the user's query and to also include references this is very similar to our use case instead of web search results we have chunks and instead of numbering we have the page number so i made a few tweaks to the prompt for our specific needs i included some extra instructions like to output found nothing if none of the chunks have an answer so what are we waiting for let's give this prompt to the gpt3 we all know that open ai provides an api to access gpt3 so all we need to do is pass our prompt to the openai.completion.create function and choose the text davinci 003 as the engine which is the best version of gpt3 i think we can set max tokens to 512 which should be more than enough the answer is absolutely correct so we did it we just searched for an exact answer to our question from a 1000 page book so i have created a web ui for book gpt and hosted it on hugging face instead of the dive into deep learning book let's give the attention is all you need research paper a try remember as i said it can work with any pdf let's start with an easy question what is scale dot product attention The AI has already generated an explanation of scaled dot product attention and even provided a reference page number. Now let's try something more specific. Like what is the complexity of self attention? The answer is in this table. So let's see if it can find it. And yes, it can. I have tested this with tons of example and it works almost all the time. The only issue is that sometimes it does not reference the correct page number, but that happens rarely. I believe we can solve this issue with some more prompt engineering. I have included the link to the Hugging Face space and the Kaggle notebook in the video description, so feel free to play around with it. If you have any suggestions or improvements, let me know in the comments. That's all for this video and I will be back with an even more exciting one soon.